Hello, friend, and welcome back once again to Strategic Command. We're playing as the Confederates. Let's continue along here. So, last uh, episode we got to encircling these, and I guess now it's time for an invasion. So, let's get started here. Let's just kill these first. Make sure we're settled. I'd like to take down these guys too. And I'd rather use Stuart on the brigade. Guess not necessarily. Um, one thing that I'd like if I move in here is that the enemy would have trouble putting units around. thing is that these guys will not be able to repair themselves either way. Need you at least in Harper's Ferry. Seems like I cannot encircle Frederick at this point. I I can move back. Yeah, that's actually pretty good at that point. Doesn't matter if they go out. Pretty lucky there. Um, then the question is, what am I gonna do with you? How far are you gonna go? Tutu is fine. I don't actually think they're that likely to give me trouble. Would have been even nicer if I were to be able to cut them off. Mm, but this will have to do for the moment. To destroy these, let's just go here. And I can kill this brigade, and that will make it easier to also take Frederick. So they can hold that position. Hmm. 
the uh, Seven, six, five. Yeah. Still want to get all the way up here. Cut that off. Have to move through this way. Not sure yet whether to move Polk. I don't think so. Um, one here, one there one for there I still need at least two units um, all right, in all fairness I do need these guys to retreat They are moving around. Uh, I need them to try and uh, attack that because these guys can't get out. Um, I'll keep these guys here in the hopes that they will go and attack it, but it's... Uh So these guys will also be able to go in there. That's nice. Um, right. Ah, okay, well. I'm retreating. They can stay there at least for one more turn. Let's nab those places. I'm happy they get to go back. I'll keep them there at least for a turn. Can't allow them to take those mines there. Uh, so I hope I'll be able to hold them down at least for a little while. Hmm, that's about it. So let's go to diplomacy. Already got everything invested. Research, got everything invested, which means I'm making purchases. Um, I'll, I cannot buy another siege artillery at this moment. But I will get myself another cavalry. And I'll get a ship of the line. Why not? Think. <clears throat> For all practical purposes, that's about it. Two, which is not good. Yeah. Navajo raids in New Mexico. Dead spies Confederates approach Albuquerque. British mobilization increases following the Confederate invasion of the North. Navajo prepares for war. Sweet. Unit continues to Fort Worth. Pro-Confederate bushwhackers cause disruption in Missouri. 
Nice, I suppose. Production technology level one. Nice. Yeah. Those blockades are kind of rough, but they're not overwhelmingly so yet. <clears throat> Seems like they got a, just got a core in there. Hmm. I still don't think they can beat me there. Realistically. Ah, fuck. Yeah. Well, I'm holding out. Ah, they got cavalry there, huh? I'm not 100% sure where Albert Kirk is, but... Navajo joins the Confederates. Sweet. That's very nice, as that gives me another cavalry unit in that area. I'm very pleased at that. Cape Girardeau is captured, and Navajo joins the Confederates. Yeah. There's recently been an incident between the Navajo tribes of western New Mexico and the garrisons of federal forts in the area. Although the Navajo have no interest in our cause, they've been hostile towards American settlers since the end of the Mexican War. If we're able to advance far enough north towards Albuquerque, the Navajo may be convinced to become more aggressive against federal force in the territory, which will make our own fight easier. Uh, they're already kind of in our side. British mobilization reaches 40%. That's good. Um, Fort Craig... Socorro, Valencia, Albuquerque is here. Huh. Need to get those mines. I'll use the regiment for that, so I, I have those rangers here. Um, I cannot just continue into New Mexico going around this these units. Like, not only is this regiment in my way, still. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to see how these things go. I'm, I'm getting more units than, uh, than the Union, so I, I should press my advantage. If I can get these guys to move into Albuquerque themselves, it might cut off that cavalry brigade that the, unions, that the Union has there. Should be pretty good. Mm, let's continue on over here. Alexandria at least. Now, at this point, Hagerstown is under enemy control. I 
Let's get you back to 10 first. Uh, sweet. as high as it was before. Hmm. I mean... I can get them to 5, but they'll just get them back up to 10. This is a one one. Their readiness and morale is going down a little bit now. No, but I'm afraid I have no units left with which to attack. a shame. Hmm. I was so close to getting it. If I would just gotten a little bit more lucky. Anyway, I need to at least invest in production technology as much as possible all the time. And you're at the highest. Um, just like core organization. So it's not as if I can increase any of those. Just go for another division and another cavalry. And those. Uh, should have tried repairing first. This at least gets them close to Tampa. They still have a ways to go till they can go there, but it should prove reasonably effective. Being at 80, it still at least takes one more turn. At 
think they'll be able to arrive at the Cumberland Gap on time. Is that ideal? Not really. Um. Pull back a bit. Uh, yeah. Try to deal with those guys next turn at those at Fort Baxter. Maybe I can take it secure uh, that part. I can use the gunboats to try and deal with the unit in New Madrid, potentially. But I've effectively moved everything else. I wonder when Confederate Arizona switches back to not being Union occupied. Um, but oh well. Um, British supply ship runs through. Kentucky prepares for. I would take it. Have one more turn. I think they were at eighty. Samuel Dupont leads the Union to victory in the Battle of Port Royal. Uh, Crap. Mm -hmm. the possibility of them reinforcing like that is pretty nasty, but the situation for the Union around Washington is anything but going well. Seems like they're following me. They caught on that I'm getting forces there. Really hope they can hold out at least. They'll probably have to retreat if they do. But we'll see. That's fine. I'll try to retreat back in there. Ah, oh, shit. If they cut me off, I'm in worse problem or worse shape. Definitely. Hmm. Getting these extra troops up, up at least will help a little bit in defending. Commander of the New Orleans Garrison, Major General David Twiggs, has asked to be relieved of his command. We must now name a new commander to replace him. The citizens of New Orleans have expressed their wish to General Braxton Bragg be chosen to replace him. Bragg has proven himself an effective commander, training our force in Florida. 
but establishing his headquarter unit in New Orleans will require 375 MPPs at 125 MPPs for each of the next three turns. Alternatively, we could assign General Mansfield Lovell to the position. This will have no cost as he is already in Louisiana, but it must be noted that Lovell lacks the authority necessary to form a headquarters unit. Would you like to assign command of the New Orleans garrison to Braxton Bragg? He is slightly more expensive than if it was purchased in a purchase screen. Despite this, the extra cost may be worthwhile if you intend to prioritize the defense of New Orleans and the Gulf Coast, as Bragg will be deployed immediately. If your focus lies elsewhere, it may be better to say no to this event. If you say no, the Bragg HQ will remain available for purchase in the purchase screen. Historically, Manfield Lowell Lovell was appointed to command garrison of the New Orleans on October 7, 1861, much to Bragg's frustration. Lacking sufficient reinforcements to defend the city, he was forced to abandon New Orleans in April 1862, a move that earned him considerable criticism. I'm gonna say yes, though. Monitor is now available. Okay, well, let's not deploy that unit for the moment. Hmm. So, British are at 47. So they've moved their cavalry further up. Um, I guess... Um, Santa Barbara may be a bit worse to them in terms of supplies. The thing is, is that I don't feel like moving around these is a good idea as long as I don't actually have the rear secured because now now these guys still need to go and take those mines um, yeah I, I don't feel that comfortable trying to do that um, their readiness and morale is a lot lower I will have to see what I can do. Ah, should have assigned these units. Um, most of these are units that can attack Washington. they'll stay in there. <laughs> Jeez, that's a rough attack. Right, I have to attack Kentucky now. As they're at 99. That, I suppose, also gets me my influence chit back. They raise a militia to respond to the Confederate invasion. So they're gonna hold there. They'll hold there. <clears throat> the both Princeton and Madison will get zero. Hmm. 
this is obviously not super amazing, but how likely are they to come from this side? They might actually cross the Ohio. Sincerely hope they will not be destroyed there. Uh, hmm. Nothing, huh? That's rather unfortunate. But let's get these up to ten. Almost there. But I'll retreat from Marshfield. It doesn't give me any MPP, and they have it surrounded. <clears throat> so that that just straight up would be no good, I think. Uh, they still have pretty high fighting spirit, though. dismay they haven't really done a whole lot from Fort Monroe either basically at this point I need to decide whether I want to already attack them now or whether I want to reinforce some of my units here so I will not be able to take that um, one thing This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I can assume it's it's not enough. Getting them back to six is, is not amazing. This will give me another unit um, if I put them there. I don't think they have something there that can get into Harper's Ferry. Uh, well, actually, let's keep you there. I need at least another unit around Nashville, so I need to take care of that. After diplomacy to mm -hmm. I 
and just keep going for divisions. That's probably for the best as it is right now. I need these to replace the Johnston HQ. Um, that's about it. to the confers nice pony express mail services cease following the opening of the transcontinental telegraph line yeah that that's a thing industrial technology sweet British mobilization reaches 50%. That's a start. We're halfway there. I'm very happy they rail away because that gives me a bit more breathing room. It's not as if I can suddenly take Annapolis, but... Uh There's that calorie. Interesting. <laughs> the Great Dismal Swamp, eh? damage. That's good. Hmm. That sucks though. Shit. What? them to swing back and repair them. Can work with that. Lieutenant General Winfield Scott retires as commanding general of the U.S. Army. The first Melbourne Cup horse race is held. We get spotted. The Federal Declaration of Blockade Against Reports last April has already begun to impact our ability to buy arms and vital supplies for the war effort. While I have no doubt any abilities of the Confederate Navy to challenge northern ships, it's likely that the Federals will attempt to launch amphibious operations to seize our ports, just as we did so successfully at Veracruz in 1847. In order to prepare ourselves for such invasions, I strongly suggest that infantry force be sent to support our coastal forts and defend our coastline from enemy attacks before this blockade has a chance to shut down our ports any further. Send units to garrison major ports along the Atlantic coast and Gulf of Mexico. Mm, yeah, at least we 
Got a bunch of troops. That's nice. Seems like my, uh... Three turns, yeah. So it takes a while. At any rate, I'll be wrapping things up here. I'm gonna thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, please consider leaving a, a like, a comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. And bye bye.